In this video, we'll take a look at the Files pod, the Web Links pod, and the Notes pod in Adobe Connect. You can see I've got all three types of pods on my stage already. It's worth noting, though, that with Adobe Connect, you can add many of these pods, including all three of these, multiple times to your stage. So for example, if I'd like another Notes pod on my stage, I can simply go to the Pods menu, select Notes, and either add a new Notes pod, or bring up a pod that I've already created. Let's start by taking a look at the Files pod. I've got a couple of files already showing in this Files pod. As a meeting host, I can edit any one of these files if I'd like to rename anything in the files. I can also add a new file to the pod, either by clicking on the plus button at the top of the pod or by using my File Explorer and simply dragging and dropping a file into the Files pod. This supports virtually any document type. You can simply drag and drop it into the files pod. So even files that aren't supported to be displayed in a share pod can be uploaded to your files pod. If you're looking to make content available to your participants, this is a great way of doing that. As a participant, I'm not able to edit the content. Let's show you what I mean. If I demote myself here to a participant, I'm only able to download the content. And if I click on the download button, you can see a file dialog appears asking me to save this particular content. I do have the ability to download all of the content at once though using this download all button in the pod options menu. Let's promote myself back to a host so that we can take a look at the web links pod. Here you can see I've got a number of different web links available. Beside each link are four different action items. I can push this link to all attendees. That'll open up the link either in a browser window if they're using the application or in a new tab if they're using the browser to attend an Adobe Connect meeting. I can copy the link into my clipboard and I can edit the link. If I select edit, it'll open up a dialog where I can add the text and the URL that I'd like to navigate to. If I cancel this, you can see how easy it is to add a new link simply by adding some text. as well as a URL and hit done and the new link shows up. Notes are another great way of sharing information inside of Adobe Connect and these notes are always synchronized. So as a host or presenter, anything that I type into the notes pod will be seen by all of the participants in the Adobe Connect room. And as you can see from some of the text here, we support rich text formatting. That includes being able to select the size of your text, being able to change the color, as well as adding formatting like bold, italics, and underline, as well as bullets and links. Adobe Connect is smart enough to detect a link automatically. It will turn it into a piece of linkable text for any participants in the room. As a host, I can also force a link for other text that may not be formatted as a URL simply by highlighting the text and choosing the link button here and adding a URL to that text. And that now turns it into a link. If I demote myself once again to a participant, you can see that these become active links that I can click in the notes pod. That's a quick look at the files pod, web links pod, and notes pod in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.